Aging is inevitable, but the way we choose to live this stage makes all the difference between a journey filled with satisfaction or regrets. In this video, we will explore the 11 most common mistakes many people make during this phase of life, and most importantly, how to avoid them practically. We will not only identify these slips, but also share concrete solutions based on studies and insights from psychology that have the power to transform your life for the better. Get ready for enriching and detailed content, the result of careful research to ensure each piece of advice is truly applicable in your daily life. And stay until the end, because I will reveal the most critical mistake, the one you definitely need to avoid. If you're ready to learn, grow and evolve with us, Embark on this journey towards a fuller and more fulfilled life. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any valuable content. Let's transform this phase into an experience full of meaning and growth together, neglecting physical health. Keeping the body in motion is like taking care of a high-performance vehicle. The better cared for, the further you will go. In old age, this doesn't mean engaging in strenuous activities, but rather adopting physical exercise habits that promote well-being. Daily walks, which can even be done in the nearest park, are an excellent example. They not only keep the heart healthy, but also increase the production of endorphins, those natural happy pills. Physical health is not just a matter of appearance, but of quality of life, preventing falls, fractures, and aiding in active aging. Understanding that the body is a machine that needs constant care can be a game-changer in longevity. Regular physical activity helps in resisting the body's natural loss of strength and flexibility over the years. Yoga, for example, besides keeping muscles strong, provides mental benefits like stress reduction. Old age is the ideal time to explore new types of exercises, such as swimming, which strengthens the body without impacting the joints. Maintaining an active lifestyle is essential for prolonging health and independence. But it's not just exercises that take care of the body. Keeping up with medical appointments is vital. Don't wait for a red flag to visit the doctor. Periodic exams like the cardiovascular checkup and bone density assessment ensure that potential problems are identified and treated before they become severe. Negligence can be costly in the long run, especially for those who want to avoid surprises that can compromise quality of life. Aging healthily requires planning and prevention. Physical health often supports emotional well-being. It's not uncommon for exercise to help with self-esteem and the feeling of independence. With health in check, it becomes easier to cultivate self-care and avoid social isolation since mobility facilitates socialization and participation in community activities. The act of walking outdoors, in addition to stimulating the body, also calms the mind, making it an excellent way to start or end the day. And exercising also has everything to do with proper sleep. A body that moves throughout the day tends to rest better at night. Deep, restorative sleep is vital for cellular regeneration, and it is during sleep that the body truly heals. Additionally, regular physical activity helps to stabilize circadian rhythms, improving sleep quality. Therefore, staying active is also ensuring well-rested nights and renewed energy for the following day. And when it comes to physical health, we mustn't forget that every movement is an opportunity to learn something new. Participating in a dance class, for example, not only keeps the body active, but also offers the chance for continuous learning, something crucial to keeping the mind young. Who knew that a simple hobby could be one of the keys to keeping the mind sharp and the body in shape? But how does this connect to mental health? Let's talk more about that next. Ignoring mental health. Mental health is as important a pillar as the physical, especially in old age. Often people focus so much on taking care of the body that they neglect the mind, which can be a serious mistake. Keeping the mind active is essential to avoid problems such as anxiety and depression, which often arise with social isolation 
or the loss of a sense of purpose in life. Hobbies such as gardening, painting or learning a new language can be great ways to keep the mind functioning and stimulate creativity. These activities not only bring immediate pleasure but also provide a sense of achievement. Moreover, there is transformative power in social interactions. Regularly talking with friends or family combats social isolation and promotes emotional well-being. Community groups, whether reading or volunteering, can become a significant support point for those aging. Technology, with its video calls and social networks, also offers a practical way to keep in touch from a distance. In these interactions, individuals rediscover their importance and feel part of something larger, which is crucial for mental health. Meditating can also be a great ally in the search for emotional balance. The practice of mindfulness, for example, requires just a few minutes a day and can help relieve stress and anxiety. A calm mind is reflected in a lighter life where emotional well-being is prioritized. Feeling gratitude for the small things in day-to-day -day life, like a peaceful breakfast or a pleasant conversation, can completely change the perspective of someone feeling overwhelmed. Small actions like these have a huge impact on mood and disposition. Therapy is another valuable resource, and there's nothing wrong with seeking professional help when necessary. In many cases, talking to a psychologist can be key to dealing with old traumas or feelings of sadness that accumulate over the years. Accepting professional help is not a sign of weakness, but of courage and self-care. Actively dealing with emotional issues allows life to be lived more fully, without the shadows of the past affecting the present. Staying mentally active also means continuing to learn. It's never too late to explore new knowledge. Taking an online course, learning to cook something new, or even diving into a good book are effective ways to keep the mind in constant development. Reading The Art of Living by Epictetus can provide valuable lessons on how to handle adversities and find inner peace, while learning something new, like playing an instrument, challenges the brain and prevents cognitive decline. After all, a healthy mind creates the ideal ground for physical health to also flourish. The balance between body and mind is the secret to aging with quality of life. This leads us to another equally important point, financial planning. Let's understand why it's crucial to ensure peace of mind in the later years. Lack of financial planning. Financial planning in old age is one of the biggest guarantees of tranquility. Many people find themselves caught off guard by not having prepared their finances in advance, which can result in unnecessary worries during a phase when they should be enjoying life. Saving early and investing wisely are essential steps to build this financial security. Even small amounts, if well managed, can grow significantly over time. For those just starting out, investing in fixed income securities or a private pension fund can be a wise choice. Creating a detailed budget is another practice that makes a big difference. Knowing exactly where the money goes helps eliminate unnecessary expenses and allocate resources to what really matters. Having an emergency fund, for example, ensures that unexpected events like health issues or home repairs don't cause financial despair. Moreover, diversifying investments can be the key to maintaining a stable income source, not relying solely on public or private retirement. This offers more control and security in the long run. A comfortable retirement doesn't mean stopping living, quite the contrary. Good planning allows you to enjoy the best that life has to offer, travels, hobbies, and moments with the family. Planning that dream trip, with a good financial reserve, it becomes a real possibility. Many banks offer travel programs with special conditions for retirees, which facilitates the realization of these desires. A well-executed financial plan opens doors to moments of pleasure and avoids stress with end-of-month bills. Staying informed about investment opportunities is essential. Nowadays, there are numerous tools available, such as online courses on financial education or apps 
that help better control expenses and earnings. Being up to date with these options ensures that your savings are protected and growing even in times of economic uncertainty. Diversifying investments with a portion in stocks or real estate funds, depending on your risk profile, can be an excellent way to make money work in your favor. Financial security also directly impacts mental health and emotional well-being. When a person doesn't have to worry about basic issues like paying bills or covering medical expenses, they can live with much more lightness and peace. Effective planning not only secures the future, but also provides quality of life in the present. The sense of control over finances brings a tranquility that is reflected in all areas of life, from physical health to social. With well-structured finances, you can focus on what really matters, living life fully. The security that comes from good financial planning allows you to focus on relationships, hobbies, and primarily on physical and mental health. And speaking of connections, this leads us to think about one of the greatest challenges of old age, social isolation. Let's discuss why this mistake should be avoided at all costs. Social isolation. Social isolation in old age is a silent problem, but with profound impact. As we age, many of our friends and family members may follow different paths, which can increase the sensation of loneliness. However, it is essential to stay connected with the world around you. Participating in community activities, such as reading clubs, walking groups or volunteering, can be an excellent way to meet new people and strengthen existing bonds. This not only brings joy, but also improves mental and physical health combating the isolation that so many elderly face. The power of a simple conversation should not be underestimated. Interacting with neighbors, calling a friend, or even making new friends through online groups can transform the routine of someone who feels isolated. A video call with a distant family member can bring a sense of closeness that previously seemed impossible. Technology, when used properly, can be a powerful bridge to maintain contact. Don't be afraid to learn to use apps like WhatsApp or Zoom. They can be the key to keeping your support network close. Maintaining social connections also has a direct impact on physical health. Studies show that people with an active social life have a lower risk of developing diseases like Alzheimer's and heart problems. The simple act of leaving the house to participate in a coffee with friends can have a positive effect on your health. Moreover, group activities like dancing or practicing light sports are a fun way to keep moving, ensuring both physical and mental health. It's a healthy exchange of energy and experiences. Participating in volunteer projects also offers a unique opportunity to stay active and connected. By helping others, you strengthen your own support network and also gain the satisfaction of making a difference. Volunteering in local organizations, such as schools or NGOs, not only fills the time, but also brings a sense of renewed purpose. Feeling useful in the community can transform the perspective of those feeling on the margins of society. Social isolation, when not combated, can have devastating effects, such as depression. Prolonged loneliness is fertile ground for the emergence of negative thoughts and often leads to the worsening of mental health issues. That's why staying connected is so important. Even small weekly meetings or recreational activities can make all the difference in emotional well-being and the sensation of belonging. Mental health and physical health walk together and avoiding isolation is one of the most powerful ways to preserve both. And speaking of preserving well-being, we must not forget that in all phases of life, the relationships that surround us have a great impact on us. But it's important to recognize when these relationships are healthy or when they might be harming us. This leads us to the next point, understanding the impact of toxic relationships and how to distance oneself from them. Maintaining toxic relationships. Toxic relationships are a silent poison that can erode emotional and physical health, especially in old age. Often people maintain harmful ties out of fear of being alone or a false obligation to maintain certain connections. However, 
It is essential to recognize that keeping people around you who drain your energy, constantly criticize, or manipulate your emotions can be extremely detrimental. Learning to identify these signs and making the decision to distance oneself is an act of self-care and preservation of one's mental health. It is important to remember that as we age, the quality of relationships becomes more important than the quantity. Surrounding oneself with people who truly bring joy and support makes a huge difference. This applies to friends, family, and even longtime colleagues. If a person consistently disrespects your boundaries or makes you feel inferior, it's time to seriously evaluate that relationship. Establishing clear boundaries and in some cases, distancing oneself completely can be a difficult decision, but extremely necessary to ensure your well-being. The effects of toxic relationships are not just emotional. Constant stress can significantly affect the body, causing headaches, digestive problems, and even more serious illnesses. Physical health and mental health are intimately linked, and being in an emotionally safe environment is essential to maintain both aspects in balance. The choice to distance oneself from toxic relationships is a courageous step towards a healthier and more balanced life. Something many only realize when the negative effects have already manifested. Recognizing that you deserve to be treated with respect and affection is the first step to changing your support network. Surrounding oneself with positive people who bring lightness and genuine support is one of the best investments you can make in yourself. For example, Seeking out groups or communities where mutual support is encouraged can be a transformative path. Who knows, getting involved in activities like meditation groups, reading meetings, or volunteering could introduce new people who share similar values to yours. It is also important not to hesitate to seek professional help to deal with the emotions that arise when cutting ties. Therapy or counseling can provide tools to process these changes and strengthen your self-esteem, helping to deal with resistance to change that often arises in these moments. A therapist can provide strategies for dealing with feelings of guilt or fear of losing these connections, making the emotional healing process smoother and more efficient. Just as distancing oneself from toxic relationships strengthens your well-being, Learning to accept help at the right times is also essential. Knowing when and how to accept the support of those who care about us is a sign of wisdom, not weakness. Let's explore this concept further in the next topic. Ignoring the need for help. Many believe that asking for help is a sign of weakness, but in reality, accepting assistance is an act of wisdom. In old age, some daily tasks can become more challenging, and trying to tackle them alone can be exhausting. Asking for help, whether from family, friends, or even professionals, does not diminish your independence. On the contrary, it can prolong it. Tasks like cleaning the house, shopping or gardening, are examples of activities where support can make all the difference, ensuring that you have more time and energy to dedicate to yourself and what really matters. Accepting help also reinforces emotional bonds with those around you. Allowing someone to contribute to your well-being not only eases your routine, but also strengthens relationships of affection and support. A son who helps with lunch preparations, for example, is not just collaborating on a practical task, but also creating moments of connection. This contributes to a sense of security and companionship, which in turn combats social isolation. Letting others help is a way to nurture these relationships. Often pride or fear of being a burden prevents people from accepting help, but it is important to understand that by asking for support, you are investing in your own quality of life. There are simple solutions that can be implemented, such as hiring someone for household tasks or delivery services for shopping. This is not a sign of incapacity, but a smart strategy to better manage time and energy. This type of self-care allows you to preserve your physical and mental health. Moreover, accepting help can be crucial for maintaining independence in the long run. 
when you recognize the areas where you need support, you can prevent bigger problems in the future. For example, accepting help to reorganize the house or make small adaptations, like installing support bars in the bathroom, can prevent accidents. This proactive attitude demonstrates deep self-care and helps to prevent a simple situation from evolving into something more serious, like a fall. It is also important to understand that we are not alone on this journey. Everyone, at some point in life, needs support, and accepting this serenely is a way to resist the pressure to always be self-sufficient. After all, even the wisest know when it is time to delegate responsibilities and accept a helping hand. Embracing this concept is an important step to ensure a lighter and safer life, allowing you to focus on the things that truly bring satisfaction and happiness. And speaking of living safely, sometimes it's necessary to be cautious about how and with whom we share our plans. Avoiding revealing too much about our intentions can be a way to protect our dreams. Let's discuss this in the next topic. Revealing your plans too early. Sharing dreams and plans with others can be natural, but revealing your intentions too early can create unexpected obstacles. Old age, like any other phase of life, is full of new goals and projects, but not everyone around you will be prepared to support them. By disclosing your plans prematurely, you run the risk of attracting criticism and negative comments that can shake your confidence and motivation. Protecting your goals until they are more solid is a way to ensure that the path you are following is guided by your own vision and not by the fears or insecurities of others. At times, sharing a plan may seem like a search for validation, but it's important to remember that you don't need everyone's approval to pursue your dreams. Independence of thought and action is essential to avoid feeling discouraged by people who do not understand or respect your goals. Imagine that you plan to learn to paint or start a small business in retirement. By sharing this idea with someone who does not value art or entrepreneurial challenges, the return might be discouragement instead of support. This can only weaken your will. Moreover, by talking about your finances or life projects to the wrong people, you may end up exposing yourself to negative influences or even malicious intentions. Protecting yourself financially also involves keeping private information secret until you have clarity on the direction you are taking. If you are planning a big trip or reallocating investments, it is prudent to keep these decisions between you and those who have a genuine interest in your success and well-being. This caution protects both your finances and your peace of mind. The best way to ensure that your plans progress smoothly is to share your goals only with people who demonstrate genuine support and encourage your growth. This doesn't mean isolating yourself, but being selective about whom you choose as part of your trust network. Seeking advice from mentors or people with more experience in the field you are venturing into can be a way to obtain guidance without exposing yourself to destructive criticism. Learning to discern who truly roots for you is a skill that will ensure that your goals are nurtured with the necessary care. Revealing plans too early can compromise not only your motivation, but also the pleasure in realizing them. Sometimes the initial enthusiasm runs out when the sharing is premature, leaving you without that vital energy to move forward. Keeping certain dreams secret until they are ready to flourish is like caring for a plant in its most delicate stages. Only when it is strong enough to withstand the winds do you show it to the world. And on this journey, maintaining focus and care for your health, especially sleep, is essential. Speaking of self-care, one of the pillars we often neglect is the quality of sleep. Let's see how this can affect our health in the next topic. And not prioritizing proper sleep. Sleep is the time when the body and mind repair themselves, but unfortunately many do not give it the importance it deserves, especially in old age. Sleeping well is not just a matter of comfort, it is essential for maintaining physical, mental and emotional health. 
Poorly slept nights directly affect memory, concentration, and mood, not to mention the effects on the heart and immune system. Maintaining a regular sleep routine, respecting bedtime and wake-up times, is one of the first steps to ensuring that the body gets the necessary rest to face the day with renewed energy. One of the most common mistakes is underestimating the impact of poorly slept nights in the long run. Lack of proper sleep can increase the risk of developing serious problems like hypertension, diabetes, and even depression. Moreover, the body needs time to physically regenerate, especially as we age. Small changes like avoiding the use of electronics before bedtime or creating a dark and quiet environment can significantly improve sleep quality. Simple practices like meditation or listening to relaxing music can help prepare the mind for rest. It is also important to pay attention to habits that may be harming your sleep without you realizing it. For example, consuming caffeine or alcoholic beverages at night can interfere with your ability to fall asleep and stay asleep. Maintaining a healthy diet rich in nutrients helps regulate sleep cycles, while physical exercise during the day can also promote deeper sleep. Small walks outdoors, especially in the late afternoon, help regulate melatonin levels, the hormone that induces sleep. Proper sleep also has a direct impact on mental health and emotional well-being. A restful night improves mood and increases the willingness to face the challenges of the day. Those who sleep well think more clearly, make better decisions, and handle stress more efficiently. Moreover, sleep is crucial for continuous learning, as it is during rest that the brain processes and stores new information, helping to keep the mind sharp. In old age, we often face difficulties with sleep, such as insomnia or frequent awakenings, which can be exacerbated by anxiety or concerns about health or finances. In these cases, seeking help from a health professional is essential. Doctors or sleep specialists can offer valuable guidance, such as the need for specific treatments or changes in habits. Sleeping well is not just a luxury, it is a necessity to maintain quality of life and longevity. When you adopt a balanced approach to sleep, you create a solid foundation for self-care and independence. And speaking of independence, one of the greatest challenges in old age is the resistance to necessary changes that can increase your safety and well-being. Let's explore this topic next. Resisting necessary changes. Resisting changes can be one of the biggest barriers to maintaining a healthy and safe life in old age. Often people cling to old routines or familiar objects out of fear or discomfort with the new. However, small changes in the environment and daily habits can make a big difference in terms of safety and quality of life. For example, Installing support bars in the bathroom or adjusting lighting in areas of the house with low light can prevent falls and serious accidents. Adapting to these changes demonstrates not weakness, but wisdom and self-care. Facing these modifications as necessary improvements to ensure independence is essential. Removing slippery rugs or reorganizing furniture to facilitate mobility can prevent accidents that compromise physical health, such as falls that result in fractures. Resistance to these small adaptations may seem like an attachment to autonomy, but in reality, they are actions that preserve the ability to continue living independently. And in this process, accepting suggestions from family members or health professionals is an important step to ensure safety and comfort. Adapting to changes is not limited to the physical environment. Changing habits, such as taking small breaks during tiring activities or reorganizing the exercise routine, can help better manage energy and avoid excessive wear and tear. Small adaptations like alternating lighter walks with stretching exercises keep the body active but without overloading it. This is crucial to preserve physical health and ensure that an active lifestyle is maintained over the years without unnecessary risks. Resistance to changes, however, often comes from a place of fear. 
Fear of losing control over one's own life or depending on others. But accepting necessary changes is actually a way to maintain control over what really matters, your safety and well-being. Facing these changes positively as opportunities to live better helps transform this fear into action. For example, a simple digital security course can protect your finances and avoid scams, a change that offers tranquility and security. Another important aspect of changes is the acceptance of new technologies and tools that can facilitate life. As challenging as it may seem at first, learning to use devices like smartphones or tablets to connect with friends and family, or even control home devices, can increase independence and reduce isolation. Adapting to technological changes is a practical way to ensure that you are always connected and secure, without depending on others to solve everyday problems. And just as it is important to accept necessary changes, it is equally vital to continue seeking growth and learning no matter your age. Retirement is not the end of the road, but the beginning of a new phase of discoveries. Let's talk more about this next. Ceasing to learn and grow. Retirement, contrary to what many think, is not the end point, but the beginning of a new stage of growth and discoveries. Ignoring this opportunity for continuous learning can be a mistake that limits both intellect and emotional well-being. Keeping the mind active is essential to preserving cognitive health, and learning something new brings a sense of accomplishment and purpose that rejuvenates the spirit. Whether learning to play a musical instrument, participating in an online course, or exploring new hobbies, the important thing is to keep curiosity alive. It's never too late to discover new passions and skills. Practices that stimulate the brain not only help keep the mind sharp, but also have a positive impact on mental health. Reading, for example, is an excellent way to stay informed and intellectually challenged. How about exploring books like Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari, which offers a fascinating view of humanity's evolution? Or perhaps learning a new language to challenge the mind in a different way? Besides being a great mental exercise, it can also open doors to new experiences and cultural connections. Moreover, continuous learning doesn't need to be formal. Life is full of growth opportunities in everyday situations. For example, gardening can teach about patience and the cycle of life, while cooking new dishes can transform into a culinary adventure that nourishes both body and soul. These small acts of discovery bring a new freshness to the routine and help combat the monotony that often accompanies retirement. Staying curious and open to learning is a way to cultivate a life full of enthusiasm and purpose. Challenging oneself intellectually also brings significant benefits to cognitive health. Studies show that people who continue to learn throughout life are less likely to develop diseases like dementia. Therefore, curiosity is not just a tool for personal satisfaction, but also an investment in your future health. By exploring new fields of interest, such as art, technology, or even entrepreneurship, you keep the brain active and strengthen yourself for the challenges that come with aging. Participating in study groups or learning communities can also be a great way to socialize and exchange experiences. Many community centers offer workshops for seniors in various areas, from crafts to technology. This exchange of knowledge between people of different generations enriches not only knowledge but also strengthens social bonds, combating isolation. Who said that retirement can't be a phase full of intellectual and emotional adventures? And so, by embracing continuous learning, you allow yourself to grow constantly. But as important as keeping the mind active is caring for the body with the same dedication. Nutrition plays a crucial role in this journey, and neglecting diet can be a dangerous mistake. Let's explore this in the next topic. Neglecting diet and proper nutrition. Nutrition is one of the most important pillars of health, especially in old age. Neglecting proper nutrition can have devastating effects, impacting both the body and mind. A balanced diet rich in nutrients is essential to ensure that the body receives the necessary fuel to function well. 
Eating well is not just about maintaining a healthy weight, but about strengthening the immune system, improving muscle strength and protecting the heart, including fresh fruits, colorful vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats in your daily diet is a simple yet powerful way to promote longevity and well-being. Often fatigue and lack of appetite can lead people to opt for quick and processed foods, but this can be a serious mistake. These foods tend to be high in sugar, fat and sodium, increasing the risk of diseases like diabetes, hypertension and heart problems. For those looking to improve their diet, a good tip is to plan simple and nutritious meals, like a colorful salad plate with grilled chicken or a good baked fish accompanied by vegetables. In addition to being delicious, these dishes provide the necessary nutrients to keep the body strong and the mind active. Hydration cannot be ignored either. Many people forget to drink water throughout the day, which can lead to dehydration, fatigue and kidney problems. Staying well hydrated is crucial to ensuring the proper functioning of the body and even keeping the skin healthy and the digestive system in order. A simple tip is to always carry a bottle of water with you or set times throughout the day to drink fluids. Moreover, herbal teas or water with a touch of lemon can be tasty alternatives to increase fluid intake. Good nutrition also has a direct impact on mental health. Studies show that a diet rich in omega-3 found in fish like salmon and sardines can improve mood and even prevent depression. Likewise, the consumption of whole grains, nuts and seeds can help keep the mind sharp, preventing cognitive decline. Proper nutrition is not just a matter of the body, it nourishes the brain and emotions, ensuring an active and healthy aging process. If planning healthy meals seems like a complicated task, know that today there are many tools to facilitate this process. Apps that help organize the shopping list, videos of quick recipes, and even meal delivery services can be great options. Additionally, seeking the guidance of a nutritionist can provide valuable insights into which nutrients your body needs and how to organize a dietary routine that meets your specific needs. By ensuring proper nutrition, you are building a solid foundation for a long and healthy life. And so we close the cycle of care that involves body, mind and spirit so that each phase of life can be lived with the best quality possible. How about starting now by identifying one or two points where you can focus? Maybe it's adjusting your diet, starting a new hobby, or simply accepting more help from others. Small steps can lead to big changes over time. And remember, the most important thing is that you deserve to live this phase of life with fullness, joy, and independence. Don't let these mistakes hold you back. Take control and start creating the future you desire. If you want to continue learning how to improve your life and avoid the mistakes many people make in old age, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. This way, you won't miss any new content that can help you live with more health, well-being and wisdom.